Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's workout. Today will be a low impact but still high intensity workout. You'll need a floor mat for a couple of the moves in rounds two and four and a set of hand weights. I'm using five pounds again today. Let's start with our warm up. Feet are facing out to the corners of the room. Let's do a little squat tap. Let's do three big arm circles. One, two, three. Three shoulder rolls up and back for one two, three, keeping your shoulders back and down the whole time you're working out. Pull yourself up through the crown of the head, a nice long tall torso supported by a really strong core. Arms up in front, let's do little jabs to the front. And imagine guys, that one of these jabs is hitting you right in the belly button. So those abs are engaged and try and keep them like that the whole time you're working out. Let's turn it into cross body hooks, imaginary punching bag, not just flopping the arms across the body, but really giving that punching bag a little jab, warming up the whole body. For three, two, and one, let's turn it into uppercuts, coming a little bit lower into that squat tap. This time that punching bag is right in front of your head. You're punching up into it. For three, two, and one, maintaining this wide stance. Let's reach side to side, stretching out those inner thighs. We're gonna give them a workout today. Making sure the booty's pressed to the back of the room so the knees aren't here over the toes. Pull that booty to the back of the room, making sure the knees are over the ankles. For three, two, and one. From here, squat it up and squeeze those glutes. So again, look down, knees are behind toes. For three, two and one shuffle on the spot i'll show you the first move grab your two hand weights with your left leg and right arm you're going to do a forward lunge rear lunge i'm going to do it on the side because i don't have enough room forward lunge rear lunge staying low but stepping far enough forward that your knee is over your ankle the knee is over the ankle get ready forward to rear staying low so your right leg is staying static, your left leg is doing that forward rear lunge and you're alternating your arm press, arm, arm, and you're really loading up your right leg. So let's do the other side. This time your right leg is moving. We're going to do a forward lunge to rear lunge. Get ready with your right leg and left arm, forward to rear, staying low. You are really working your left leg here. Look down and make sure that the knee is tracking over the ankle. If it's not, make your step a bit bigger. Okay, well done guys. Wide V with your right leg. Tap behind, side lunge, tap behind with a front raise. Here we go. Tap behind, side lunge. So it's a front raise, it's really going on a diagonal to the corners of the room. We're tapping behind, almost like we're going to a curtsy, but we're staying high. So just tap the leg, side lunge. Two, one. Catch my breath. So we're just tapping behind and a side lunge. Arms are coming out to the corners of the room. Here we go. Tap behind, side lunge. Really getting right into it, getting our heart rate up, low impact, high intensity, full body workout. Five seconds, three, two, one. All right, guys, your left leg, step it back, pivot forward, lift that leg with a tricep extension, tap it, knee up with an overhead press. Here we go, lift, tap, knee up. Squeeze that glute using your left glute cheek to squeeze that leg up. Keep the elbows tucked into the body. Palms are facing in on that tricep extension. Other side. So now your right leg, step it back, pivot forward. Lift with the tricep, knee up with an overhead press. Here we go. Lift, tap, knee up. Squeeze the triceps and squeeze that leg using the glute. Squeeze and hold. 
squeeze and hold. So it's a subtle movement, but you've got to put your focus into that glute. Well done, guys. A nice, wide, low stance. You're going to drop the weights as you lift the heels. Stand and reach. Stand and reach. Here we go. Lift the heels, drop them, stand and reach. Lift, drop, stand and reach. So you're passing through center in that low wide squat. The first move is a heel lift as we drop the weights and then back to a bicep curl as we reach across the body. Guys, this time down, up, overhead press. Get ready. Here we go. Heels up, down, overhead press. Option to raise the heels on the overhead press. So it's heels up, down, heels up, down. Up, down, up, down. Getting nice and deep into that wide squat. Well done, guys. Grab a drink. One hand weight for the next round. Start in a V. Sorry, weight in this hand. Rear diagonal, knee up and pass the weight under. Rear diagonal. So just your right leg. Rear diagonal, rear diagonal. And the arm is doing a front raise corner to corner. Now, if you can't get the knee up high enough to pass the weight under, just pass it in front of your body so that the back stays long and tall. Let me show you on the other side. So it's rear diagonal. Now, if you have to hunch to get there, just keep the back long and tall and pass the weight in front of your body. Here we go. Rear diagonal, rear diagonal. Here's what it looks like as you pass the weight just in front of your body. The knee up with the weight underneath is really just a gimmick to keep it more interesting for you. Three, two, one. Well done, guys. So similar to what we did in the last move, your left leg, start with the tap back, knee up, row, knee up, row. Here we go. Knee up, upright row to upright row. Again, if you aren't feeling the weight underneath, pass it in front of your body and just drive the knee up. We're working our balance on one leg. Two, one. Well done, guys. Other side. So start back here. Knee up and pass it under. Now, if you have to hunch to get there, just pass the weight in front of the body. Here we go. Up and under. Up and under. Or just knee up and pass that weight in front of the body. I'm getting creative. It is workout number 109. Trying to keep it interesting. Three, two, one. One. Back to that low, wide squat. This is home base here. Stand with a bicep curl. Stand with a bicep curl. Just your right leg. Here we go. Stand and under. Stand and under. The palms facing up on this one. Now, again, pass it in front of your body if the knee under is not working for you. You're really doing the same workout. Three, two, one. Other side of the hand to start. Low, wide, press those knees back. Let's work those inner thighs. Get ready to stand with the knee up. This time on your left leg. Again, pass it in front of the body with the knee up if the under is not working for you. Hopefully I'm making sense. Keeping those abs engaged. After this, grab your mat, come down into a side forearm plank. All right, guys, side forearm plank. Bottom knee is bent. Lift the hip and the top leg, reaching under, up, in, out. Here we go. Reach under the body, arm straight up, knee in, and elbow down. So bring the knee towards the head and the elbow towards the heel. In, out, under, up. In, out, under, up. Well done, guys. Changing sides. Hopefully, I explain that. So on the forearm, bottom leg bent. Lift the hip up. Lift the leg up. Reaching under and then in. Here we go. Reaching under 
and up, and then just bring the knee towards your head, the elbow towards your ankle. So my knee and my elbow are not touching. Just doing that side crunch. We're really working the core, especially the bottom part of our core, the supporting part. Guys, grab a drink. You are halfway done. Two weights. Starting with your left leg and your right arm. Step forward, step back. Here we go. Forward lunge, rear lunge, staying low. Look down. Knee should be tracking over each ankle, over and over. If it's not, make your step into each lunge a little bit bigger. Staying low. Deceptively challenging. This time your right leg is gonna step forward and press forward with your left arm. Here we go. Forward and back, staying low. Abs are engaged. I'm tired too. Make sure you keep your form when you get tired. Look down, knee, sorry, yes, knee over ankle. Two, one. White stance. We're gonna do tap, side lunge, tap. So tapping behind, here we go. Tap, side lunge. Arms are going to each corner in a front diagonal raise. Palms are facing down. So you're tapping behind almost as if you're starting a curtsy. Two, one. Guys, your right leg is tapping back and then doing a side lunge. I'm getting a rest. Here we go. Tap and side. Keeping those arms level with your shoulders as you're doing that front diagonal raise. Shoulders are back and down. So I don't want to see you hunch them up. Two, one. All right, guys. Your left leg, step it back, pivot the body forward with a long torso. Lift, tap, overhead press. Here we go. Lift it up, overhead press. Keeping those elbows tucked into the body. Squeeze the triceps, squeeze the glute. So if you can, squeeze them both. Squeeze the triceps, squeeze the glutes. All right, guys, your right leg. Step it back. Get ready to do that tricep extension and leg lift. Lift it up, tap, overhead press. Lift and overhead. Keeping those abs nice and engaged. The core is engaged the whole time. It's supporting you as you're balancing on one leg. Three, two, one. All right, guys, low and wide. Lift the heels, stand and reach. Lift the heels, stand and reach. Here we go. Lift, down, reach. Lift, down, reach. So always passing through center in that low wide squat for the heel lift and the bicep curl. Lift them and reach. Lift, reach. All right, guys. Let's get back down there again. Low and wide, knees are pressed back. Lift the heels, drop, overhead press. Option to lift the heels twice. So lift, drop, lift, drop. Lift and lift. Working inner thighs and calves. Working the calves now, inner thighs. And of course, shoulders and biceps. Two, one. Grab a drink. One hand, Wayne, last round. All right, guys, going into that funky pass under. So rear diagonal, pass it under, rear diagonal. Weight is going from a front raise corner to corner. Rear diagonal, under, rear diagonal. Front raise, corner to corner. Pass it in front of your body with a knee up. If 
you feel like you have to hunch to get it under there. Both work, guys. Other side. So down, just pass it in front of the body if the knee up is too much. Get ready. Here we go. Rear diagonal, rear diagonal. So I'll do a few in front of my body. You can see there's not really much difference to what I'm doing. Depends on how high you can get that knee up. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, guys, start in an upright row. Step this leg back. Bring the knee up, back, up, back. I might have changed which leg I start with. Here we go, up and back. So we're going from row to row. Here's what it looks like in front of the body. Practically the same. So bring it up, tap the foot back, up and tap the foot back. No matter which version you're doing. Two, one, other side. So tap that foot back, starting with the upright row. Bring it up and down or up and down. Here we go. Let's drive that knee up and drive it up or just pass that weight in front of the body. But don't forget about that upright row. You really have to exaggerate it. Pull and pull as you tap that foot back. Two, one. Inner thigh burn today, guys. Get down. Let's get those knees wide, wide, wide. We're gonna do a bicep curl. Just lifting your right knee. Lift it up and down, up and down. Here is what it looks like, passing it in front of the body. We are doing palm up on the bicep curl. So rather than the, the hammer curl that we did earlier, this one is palm up. Two, one. Changing hands, changing legs, grabbing a rest. Low and wide, get down. Press those knees back. Here we go, stand and under, or just lift the knee, pass the weight in front of your body. Let's go guys, 10 seconds, then get your mat, and we're gonna go into that side forearm plank. Two, one, grab your mat, come down on one side, on the forearm, on the leg, Lift everything up, get ready to reach under, up, knee and elbow. Reach under, up, so the knee comes towards the head, the elbow goes towards the heels. Try and keep that foot flexed and keep it elevated. So in line with the torso. Other side. Last exercise of the day. All right, guys, I'm a bit slow today. Get ready. Reach under, up, and then knee in and elbow in. So crunch it in, up, reach under. Last move of the day, 10 seconds. All right, someone's awake. <laughs> Lucky it's the last move of the day. Two, one, and done. Thank goodness we got all the way through before we woke up. All right, you're... Left leg, press forward, press through the hip. Hi, mister. He doesn't like to miss out. Breathe into that hip, bring your right arm up, catch it with your left and pull back on it unless you have to pat your dog too. And breathe into that elbow. Nice, long, deep breath. Still pressing through that hip, opening up your right hip. Now bring your arm up, reach down the center, grab the elbow with your other arm and gently leaning over the left side of your body, opening up the right side and pressing down on that elbow, unless you've got to do double duty. Back to center, tuck those toes under, keep the knee on the ground or lift it up off the ground, opening up that hip a little bit more. Arms come up, look through your hands, shoulders are back and down. Now bring your right hand on the inside of your left foot and very, very gently pivoting, looking under your Left armpit as you reach the left arm up to the sky. Back to centre. Put the knee back on the ground if it's off. Flex his front foot and very gently come forward and give yourself a hamstring stretch. 
Don't try and get down to the hip. Just bring the back forward nice and long and straight. Now switch sides. Bring the other knee forward and press through that hip. Really exaggerate. Look how far forward I'm pressing. Bring your left arm up in front of the body. Catch it with your right. Breathe into that hip. Bring the arm up. Reach the hand down the center of the back. Now very gently leaning over the right side of your body. Opening up the left side a little bit more. Back to center. Tuck those toes under. Keep the knee on the ground if you like. Otherwise lift it up. Arms come up over your head. Don't shrug the shoulders. Keep them back and down. Look up between the hands. Bring your left hand on the inside of your right foot and very gently pivot. Looking under your right armpit. Back to center. Press the body weight back. Flex this front foot, right Murphy? And very gently coming forward with a flat back. So you don't have to hunch over to get there. I'm miles away. Just come as far as you need to do to feel it. Okay, bring the feet together. Stay in this crouch position. We're going to unravel slowly, 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 one vertebrae at a time. So walk the hands up your shins, over your knees, over your quads. Slowly, slowly, slowly unravel one vertebrae at a time. Up we go. Head's the last to come up. Let's do three big shoulder rolls or arm circles. One, two, three. Grab those hands, pull them back and down. Let's open up that chest, switch which hand is on top. Let's do a quick quad stretch, try and keep the knees together. So in case you're wondering, Billy is off camera today, sleeping, doing what she normally does. Other side. All right, guys, give it a little shake out. So thanks so much for working out with me today. I hope you enjoyed that one. Please leave any comments or suggestions you have down below, and I hope to see you next time.